Okay, guys, I want to talk about 4.3 today because you're going to do that in the format of a cami. So I want to go, and go through some directions and we're going to kind of work on it together. So while you're watching the video today, I would anticipate that you'd want to pause so you can go back and work on some different things and then you can hit play again and come back to it and listen to the directions. All right, so your assignment 4.3 will be here in your unit four Byzantine and Islam topic. And then when you go to open it up, it's going to say something a little different. You're going to open it with the cami. Okay. It should give you that option. You should have that already downloaded in your um, extensions. Okay. And so when you open it, you're going to get it and it's going to look a little something like this. And you're going to have all these tools over here that you can work with. And that's going to help us when we're working on the map and creating some answers and adding some things to our map today. Okay, so number one, if we look down, so this is the map, it's about the Arabian Peninsula and the surrounding areas that are going to help with the spread of Islam. We know that um, Medina and Mecca are significant areas that were contributing to Islam, as well as Jerusalem will be an area that they'll wanna control and different lands that they're gonna come into. So we're gonna go down here to number one. It says to locate the continents that surround the Arabian Peninsula and label them on your map. I'll give you a hint, they are there are three of them. So we're gonna go back up to our map up here and you can see I've already laid, I'm going to label it by creating a text box. You can pick a color, black's the easiest I guess. And then it'll start growing as you type. So this is Europe. I would, you also are going to label this continent and there's a continent over here. So every time you want to create a text box, you have to go through those steps of hitting text box, hit, hitting the color and then where you want to put it. So once I've created it, you can move it around or if you want to get rid of it, you can delete it. But I want you to label the three continents that we're going to be labeling here around this Arabian Peninsula area. So go ahead, hit pause, and go ahead and complete number one. All right, now you're back with me. It says number two, we're going to locate the body of water Arab traders crossed to reach Europe. And we're going to label this body of water. So if we're in this Arabian Peninsula, what body of water are they going to cross to get to Europe? We should know this big major body here. We've talked about it a lot. So we're going to go ahead and create a text box again and label the Mediterranean Sea. And again, I can move it around. All that kind of, I can fill it with a color if it makes it easier to see for me. You know, you can kind of do that. Okay, so I'll go ahead and pause if you need a minute there to do the Mediterranean Sea. Okay, now it says we have to label the other oceans and seas on our map. Okay, so I gave you a little cheat sheet down here with the Middle East map there. So we have the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, next, we need to label our Atlantic Ocean. I'm going to fill my, you don't have to fill them. I'm just, I think it's easier to see. Okay. Then we have, if I look down at my cheat sheet here in between Egypt and that Arabian Peninsula is the Red Sea. So again, I have to hit text box in that every time, which is kind of annoying. I know. Okay. Then up above here, we have uh, the Black Sea, and this is going to be the Caspian Sea. So I'm going to, again, make my box. That's box, I know. Hit it again for my Caspian. Okay. And then here we call um, the Persian Gulf area there and the Arabian Sea. So we're going to label those. And again, you can look down at the map below here to kind of cheat if you needed to. And you can adjust the font size and things if that helps you be able to see it. 
and make it fit better. Last, I'm gonna put my Arabian Sea. And fill that in. Okay, all right, why don't you go ahead and pause this, then you can see the screen, and then go ahead and create those text boxes and label your C's to complete this portion of the map. So go ahead and hit pause now. All right, back with me, what cities on the Arabian Peninsula do you think would have been important trading centers? On your map, click and circle each one of them. And why do you think these cities became important? So how do I circle? Okay, so if you're looking at here and you're thinking that certain cities are important, I'm gonna hit the shapes and I'm gonna hit the yellow and I want my circle. And so I think Constantinople is going to be important because we talked about that. So you see how I stretched out my circle and it colored it. So again, I'm going to hit my circle and I, where else do we think where you might think might be important? Um, I'm going to go with Alexandria Cairo here because those are right there on that C. Okay. So any others you want to circle, you can again, use the shapes. The color I used was yellow and then the circle. And then in the box here, when you answer for me, why do you think these cities became important trading centers? Again, you need to make a text box. So you're gonna hit the text box, that, and then you can start typing and it'll grow with you, okay? So go ahead and work on number four. You can go ahead and hit pause. Okay, now we're moving on to number five. Number five, it says, how would the trade route of a trader traveling from Mackay to Cairo differ from that of a trader going from Mackay to Baghdad? So again, you need to look at the cities that are listed there. Is it going to be land? Is it going to be sea? Give those some thoughts when you're writing in that. Again, you're gonna select a text box, select black, and then go ahead and start typing your answer. Okay, now the next one says you're gonna lightly shade the areas for number six on your map that were under Islamic rule by 750. Okay, after spreading along the northern coast of Africa, Muslim armies crossed the Strait of Gibraltar where Africa and Europe meet. And after conquering that peninsula, they were likely slowed by physical feature. So again, use the map to help you, okay? So it's saying, it's telling you where to go um, and how it's labeled on by how it's and where it's labeled on the map. Okay, so for the example, the first question says, after spreading on the northern coast of Africa, so I'm gonna go to the, so you can see the areas here that are outlined. Those are the ones that are Islamic by 750. So I wanna do the northern African area, okay? And we're gonna use uh, the shapes again, kind of the shade. I'm gonna use the circle, but this time I'm gonna pick a different color, okay? So that's gonna kind of take over that area. And you can see that it's also this whole Arabian area. So again, I'm gonna create, and I can make it bigger or multiple there. And you can fill it in if you like with a light color, or you can just leave it outlined like that. So that's kind of what we're kind of used for our shading. We're gonna just use the shapes to create those areas that were part of their territories. If you didn't make it big enough, just make another one, okay? They also had this Southern sport portion of Spain. Okay, so all of these territories here that I circled were part of Islam control. All right, so now we've got, gone ahead and taken care of one through six. You need to pause to take a minute to look back at mine and add those shapes and highlighting you can. All right, moving on to number seven, according to the map, which city of the Arabian Peninsula is closest to Cairo? How do you think it might have affected the relationship between the two cities? Again, look at the map to answer, add a text box and type in your response. Go ahead and pause to go ahead and do that. And the same for number eight, nine, you're gonna create boxes and put in your answers from looking at the map. 
Now here in the next spot, which would have been number 10, <laughs> you're gonna watch a video link. So there is a link here to watch the video. Okay, you can click on that there. And then when you're done, you can go back to the text and continue with the question. So again, watch the video link and then come back. You go ahead and hit pause on my video to watch the new video. All right, and for all the remaining ones, you're just answering questions, okay? So how we're gonna answer questions, again, is we're gonna create the box with the text box to be able to type in our responses. Then when you're done, you're going to hit turn in, just like you would another assignment, okay? Um, if you need to, you can, if it makes you feel better, you can hit the save button and save it to your drive. Um, but it should automatically save as you're working. Any questions when you're working, I'll be on GoGuardian. So go ahead and we can problem solve together if you need some help. All right, you guys can go ahead and keep on working. Have a great day.